just a couple quick comments because I want to keep on keep the uploads consistent. Um, I guess I'll start with the uh, with the misogyny issue um, that I that I had in my last video, and I want to keep this conversation going because I want to learn from it. But, you know, I'm gonna like speak in an opinionated way because I, I see things the way I see them. And if you wanna change my views, like, you're gonna have to talk to me about it, you know? And uh, don't, don't just, uh, you know, regard me as like an idiot or an asshole or something because I, my views are the way they are. I'm honest, you know, and I, I hopefully people can actually like get something out of this and not just uh, find something to correct. But whatever it is, whatever your response is, I'd love to hear it. So I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of like, I, I kind of have that same opinion that I had in the last video. Um, I was talking to people today about it. And uh, you know, I got more sensitive responses from other people obviously, because the video I made was far from sensitive. Um, oh, by the way, my, my friend just made me this new hat. All right. Thank you, Charlie. She is uh, the recycled bag lady on Facebook. She does amazing arts and crafts, and uh, she upcycles. She's like a recycle, uh, friggin' fantastic. She's amazing. So she ma just made me this hat, the recycled bag lady. Um, if you live in New Hampshire, so um, yeah, I was talking to people, but back back on track here. Talking to people about this issue. Uh, that their responses were more sensitive than mine. There, the, the one person explained to me that uh, that this whole makeup thing. And I'm talking like I hate makeup, dude. I don't like chicks with makeup, and you, you're free to do whatever you want. But I, I don't like it, you, uh, uh, even though it, it attracts my attention. Um, but this guy was saying these these girls do their makeup for themselves and they don't do it for guys, and so they should be allowed to do whatever they want. They absolutely should. Women should be allowed to do whatever they want, but, um, you know, people are gonna judge you, man. Yeah, pe people are gonna judge you. So, like, the, 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 the thing you should focus on, I, I mean, obviously, is your safety, right? Like, you don't wanna get raped and shit. And uh, it's important, like, to get out there and be an advocate for women's safety and right, women's rights and stuff. But I, I still stand by what I said about the makeup thing. Like if you're wearing makeup, you're doing it to control, to entice men, man. If you're, if you're a woman, you're wearing makeup, you're doing it to entice the opposite sex or the, um, maybe the same sex. I don't really understand lesbian psychology, obviously, but, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, when you're wearing makeup, you're doing it for the purpose of sex, man. And they say, oh, well, I do this for... Uh, somebody said that that th these women that wear makeup, they do it for themselves. And their, their response would be, they don't do it for me. They don't do it to get a reaction from me. They do it to get a react... Uh, to feel good about themselves and feel good about the way they look. I, I think that's half true but I don't think it's totally true. I think that uh, they, uh, w women who wear makeup, they do it for themselves, that's true. To feel better about themselves is absolutely true. I think that's mentally ill, by the way. I, I don't think that's a healthy mindset. You should love your body, uh, you know? And, and the, the whole no makeup thing, it's a real movement, and so uh, that's what this video is about, but, so I, I think these women do do it for themselves. They don't do it strictly f for the way other people treat them, but that's the end result, man. If you want to look good, it's for other people. You, if you want to look good, it's about the way people look at you. And I used to be like one of those people that was like, I don't give a fuck what people think about me, but it's just not true. I have to care about the way people think of me and I have to address people in the right way even though I don't always do it as you can see on my you, you know YouTube channel the way you treat people and the what what people think of you is so important for uh, just a lot of things you know that uh, uh, it's, it's important for a lot of things all right um, and you just got to be honest like don't lie to me and say you do your makeup for you and, and 
and you don't do your makeup for your reaction for men. So like, there's there's gonna be a lot of men that are perfectly good men. I just, I, the main thing is, of this video, I mean, I, it's not gonna be, I guess the, my main point here isn't that you shouldn't wear makeup. My main, even though that I do believe that, my main thing is, there's gonna be guys that, uh, that aren't rapists, they aren't bad people, they aren't misogynists. I looked it up. A misogynist is somebody who d dislikes or has contempt for women. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a fucking misogynist because I, I, uh, I don't like, win uh, you know, some like, r tr what do you call it? You know, customs, traditions, cultural norms. Mm -hmm. I don't hate women because of that. And also, at the same time, just because I view women as uh, quote unquote sex objects doesn't mean that I don't view you as a human being as well. So sometimes I can say some pretty like perverted things. And uh, I, I, I <laughs> you, you just gotta like respect me as a human being too, you know? Like just cause I think some chick is like uh, promiscuous, or, you know, I'd say somebody is an easy fuck. What if she is, you know? And what if she's not ashamed of that? So, like, for some people are getting upset at me for having the same mentality as a lot of really uh, influential feminists have, I think. Like, these women should be allowed to do whatever they want with their bodies. I should be able to say whatever I want about their bodies and especially the way they present the women present themselves and, and the way um, you know just, just the way the way you present yourself like uh, the way you dress and all this stuff I if you're gonna dress in a certain way I'm gonna judge you based on the way you dress and I'm not gonna make like extreme judgments and stuff that's just false uh, yeah or uh, you know I try to make like positive accurate judgments but if I say like somebody looks like they're an easy lay don't get pissed at me for saying that if you if you are trying to look like you're an easy lay you know and people are gonna like all these so-called there's so many feminists that are just like so prude that they uh, you know they 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 forget about like so there, there's there's women that they are ignoring as well so you know I'm no fucking expert on feminism but uh, yeah like I, I I know people are gonna like think I'm a dick for making videos like this and stuff but I'm gonna keep talking about it I think the makeup thing is uh, it, it, it makes you look like a sex object as today I saw the most beautiful woman ever she, I mean you know she was a regular person she wasn't like friggin inhuman or anything but she was a beautiful woman very natural looking and right around the same time that I saw her I saw another woman who was wearing makeup and her uh, you know she wasn't as physically fit she didn't have as nice a body but she had like the right clothing on and she had like the right makeup and so which one attracted my attention and my sexual, you know, my male sexual mind, like, I'm, I'm fucking thinking sexually all the time, and I'm, I'm not gonna change that, uh, maybe if I, <laughs> if I, I haven't been laid in freaking years, too, so, that's another thing, like, I'm, I'm a horn dog, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that, because I'm never gonna, like, put anybody in danger or anything, you know, uh, I, I, don't, people get offended, but your, your happiness is your own thing, I, so I'm, I'm not trying to be rude here, but friggin', the, the woman that was dressed to have me look at her as a sex object was the one who I was looking at. And it's just, that's the, like, the way male brains are wired, you know? And we, we overcome that. Uh, and, and we focus on what's important, which is people's humanity. And it turn, as it turns out, the woman without the makeup, without the fancy clothes turned out to be an exceptionally, like, uh, creative person, uh, you know, and the woman without the makeup, like, you know, didn't know a two-by, I mean, the woman with the makeup didn't know a two-by-four from a freaking, you know, uh, screwdriver and stuff like, and, and so, like, I found, I actually, like, 
after looking, I found the, I found the woman without the makeup and without the nice clothes more attractive. But at first glance, you know, ah, uh, boom! Like all, all the the clothing, the makeup, it sec sets off sexual signals in the guy's brain. So I'm I'm trying to. I mean, for, first of all, I'm trying to understand. Like, that's the main reason I'm putting out this video is because I want people to uh, explain this to me and help me come to better understanding so I can, I can talk about these issues. Maybe I can be a voice for women. That, that's what I'm trying to do anyway. Uh, first of all, hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a bunch of political I'm like driving through town we got all kinds of crazy stuff going on look at this we got people setting up a band we got like Hillary uh, Clinton friggin people out here uh, totally getting sidetracked I, I, I forgot what I was gonna say now I uh, that yeah so one goal is uh for me to come to a better understanding but I also want to help you uh, like with this makeup thing uh, people, people getting mixed up with different issues. I uh, being being a feminist is great and all. Um, just don't get it confused. Don't get it confused with uh, like anti men psychology. So you know, men are always gonna talk like this. We're always gonna be like, fuck, what the fuck? There's some Hillary people. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Hillary seems like a nice lady. I'm not voting for her, I don't think, but we're gonna, people are going to run into me and shit. This is dangerous. I should not be making a video right now. Um, but the makeup thing. What I'm just trying to sum this up. Like, main point. We, uh, like, you're... you're Makeup sets off these sex triggers in men, and that's great if you want to do that. I, I don't think that hurts the women's rights movement at all, but uh, don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself and say that you're doing this makeup thing for for you and nobody else. You're doing that, you're wearing, if you're wearing makeup, you're doing it to get to attract sexual partners. Don't lie about it. Uh, you're trying to who are you trying to impress with your makeup? Uh, if and if you're working in a job where you're gonna lose your job if you don't wear your high heels and your makeup and all this bullshit, you should think about getting a better job where you don't have like people uh, all up like all up in your grill like trying to get laid and stuff like maybe that's what you're into. Totally fine. But if you're having problems with guys like being all like, you know, getting up in your face, think about like being more of a human being. One, you'll attract better guys. And two, the dumb fucks who are, uh, you know, like the rapey guys and stuff uh, won't be following you around as much because they're, they're like simple little un, uh, unconscious brains aren't... Uh, aren't like immediately attracted to you and you're like <laughs> yeah, it's slutty attire so <laughs> people are gonna get all offended watching this if you watch the whole thing it's just like fuck off man like this this is the way I see it so if you want to change my views uh, please explain I know this video has been way too long for people to critique but I hope you understand the main point here it's, oh, it's fine to wear makeup and heels and all this stuff, totally cool, but know what you're getting yourself into and don't lie about the uh, the reason you're doing it. And and know that there's other options. You're not stuck being a bimbo, okay? You, that's It's your choice. If you're gonna be that type of girl, completely your choice. And, uh, you know, so now that all of you females absolutely hate me, I am looking for a girlfriend, one that doesn't wear makeup because she's, uh, you know, got a positive body image and she's not like freaking mentally ill and stuff like that. So, uh, again, if you like dressing up occasionally and stuff, it's different. You know, like the, people paint their face and stuff. I think that's, uh, that there's like a totally different thing, like in cult, uh, tribal cultures and whatnot.
women paint their face and, and it, once a month it's like a special occasion it's like real artwork it's not like just to get through the day it's like me with drugs like I'll, I'll eat uh, some magic mushrooms and stuff or like y y you know I'll, I'll even like smoke weed sometimes and blah 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 and I, I'm not a perfect person I fuck up but it's when you're using it's okay to do a drug like once in a while just to have a good time you know as long as you're being safe it's when you're using the stuff like all the time when you or if you're just using it to get through the day that's when drugs are really a problem. I think the worst drugs people take are like the prescription drugs. Like, uh, the, you know, I was on Adderall. I was on meth, speed, man, amphetamine from as a kid. And that was just to get me through my daily reality. And so now I have like a, a bit of a ca caffeine addiction. I, I managed to avoid it most of the time, but it's, uh, it, th those are the worst kinds of drugs, man. The alcohol, the stuff that people do just uh, to to make things normal and stuff like that. that. Those are the worst ones. And so it's the same with makeup. Like, uh, if you're doing it once in a while and you're having fun and it's like a really cool experience, you're dressing up and stuff, uh, paint your face. Like, do, do, do something cool with it anyway. Like, don't... If you're waking up every single day and you gotta paint your face and go through that ritual, it's just... Why are you doing it? They're, they're, why are you doing that? That's just a... Uh, it's a first world thing and it causes first world problems. And, and we don't need it. We don't need that. It's uh, I, I don't think it's good for our culture. So, yeah, I'll stop harping on it. I got better things to do than talk about this all night. But, yeah, if you watch this all the way through, thanks a lot. Uh, I got a lot more videos coming out uh, as time goes on. Um... Yeah, I, I got to work on a better sign-off. So, thanks for watching. Go vegan. Uh, you know, world peace. Friggin' hugs and kisses. All that jazz. Eat more fruit. Carb the fuck up. Uh, enjoy, enjoy your whole plant foods. Every day of your life. Until you die. Peace.